Hi Ajit. What enables FlexiCap funds to generate alpha over the longer periods of time? Yeah, hi Ranjan. Uh, I think uh, if you look at the construct of the FlexiCap fund, this is one of that category which has the ability to invest across market caps. So it can invest into large caps, it can invest into mid caps and it can invest into small caps as well with no restrictions in terms of the number of holdings or the weightage towards these market cap buckets. I think this is a very fundamental flexibility given to the flexi cap category to choose businesses from either of these three buckets in order to create alpha for investors. Here is the next question to you. What are the quality and growth attributes of UTI flexi cap funds investment philosophy? So, you know, uh, we've always said that UTI flexi cap fund is basically built on the two key pillars of high quality businesses as well as businesses that are able to compound the value that they are generating because of the underlying growth that the business is witnessing. Let's uh, uh, understand quality first. Quality for us is basically the ability of a business to generate strong profitability as is measured in terms of return on equity or return on capital employed because this ultimately is the source for strong cash flow generation. The quality of a business is very clearly demonstrated by its high ROCs, ROEs and also its high cash flow generation because ultimately these are the sources of value creation in our business. And as many decades of investing has taught us, businesses with strong cash flows and strong ROCs and strong value generation are the ones which ultimately create sustainable wealth for investors. The second part of the philosophy is growth and here we are trying to look at structural growth, secular growth rather than cyclical growth. So this uh, uh, you know, concept of wedding quality with growth is basically the cornerstone of UTI's uh, FlexiCap's philosophy. Here is the last question. Uh, is this portfolio designed to withstand the looming global recession and liquidity tightening? I think that's a great question, Niranjan, especially very topical uh, in the current scenario. I would say absolutely yes. Because do remember, I was just uh, answering you on quality and quality essentially uh, uh, manifests itself into businesses that have strong cash flow generation and therefore strong balance sheets. These businesses typically have low to no debt on the balance sheet. And whenever the environment gets bad, the one thing again that we have learned over the decades is that businesses that have strong leverage sitting on their balance sheets are indeed the most vulnerable. In fact, uh, when liquidity becomes tight, which perhaps uh, you know would be the case as central banks around the world are tightening, uh, we would also see many businesses which are dependent on liquidity by way of raising either debt or by way of raising equity capital every now and then would find it very difficult to actually go ahead with their businesses as normal. On the other hand, businesses that are generating strong cash flows are really not dependent on external sources of liquidity and therefore remain resilient whenever the environment gets challenging. In fact, these are the businesses which are able to actually improve their market position and improve their market shares during such times. Thank you everyone for listening in. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.